It's more original. So I'm going to open up GIMP. If you don't have GIMP, I recommend getting it. It's free, and it's a lot better than Microsoft Paint. It's basically the free Photoshop. Alright. Once it's open, go to Windows. I'm trying to. Oh, here it is. Just gotta move my toolbox. Go to File New. Go to Advanced Options. Change background color to transparency. And make the size small. The smaller the image, the better. Then zoom in. And, uh, get your brush tool. GIMP has all these pre made, you know, things. Pre made brushes, so I'm gonna try this. Could make it a lot easier. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna get bigger, though. good enough. And go to file. Save as. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. Name it Blood. Save. Actually, messed that up. I'm gonna save as blood dot P and G. If you don't put the file type it'll save it as a GIMP thing which won't work at all. Okay. You can go ahead and close GIMP. <laughs> Alright. So get your enemy that you want the blood to come out of. I have this spider in another layer. This is made by Carlos and Lexi. Go to youtube.com slash Carlos and Lexi when this video is over. Go ahead and subscribe to him and stuff. And uh... So... Go ahead and make. Well, let's go to another layer. Put your cursor right under the spider. So just switch views and put the cursor right under it. Okay. Actually, we'll move it to another layer later. Add a plane. Size it up. Press Tab and go into Edit Mode raise the plane up so it's above that that pink dot and then bring it down this way it'll be above the floor go into top view go into edit mode go to image open and find that that blood mine is right here so go to when you're in edit mode hit U project from view bounds and I'm going to click this arrow and find it real quick. Here it is. Now it's going to look weird like this, but it's supposed to. So, I'm going to... Never mind. Alright, if, if you don't have GLSO on, this is all you have to do. You just go to Alpha, or you can go to Add. I forget which one. But there's more steps if you're in GLSO. You have to go into this texture window, add a new image, go to image, select blood.png. And go ahead and make it shadeless. Then go to map input UV, map to, hit alpha, go into texture panel, go to Z transparency. Go to take the alpha down. I'm gonna see if that should be good. I'm gonna hit play real quick. Alright, yeah. Hit escape. Mine's kinda laggy because I got a recorder gun. Alright. Now hit N and name it like 
blood or something like that. I'm gonna name my blood S because I uh, already have an image named blood. And go into the logic panel of the spider or maybe if you have a cube controlling the spider, which is what I have. Okay, I'm gonna make it so... You can either make it touch or collision, but I like to do near. And you go to... Hold on. Trying to find the bullet. This is it. Okay. Put in the name of the bullet. Put two. Hit pet the reset to zero. Connect it all. Go to edit object, add object. And put the name of the blood. case sensitive so okay